Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 7 of CSO Complete Server Overview. Over 250 days ago, a Discord user by the name of VIP underscore win sent a message in my Discord server. At the time, no one knew how far this one message would go. The message in question stated, day one of asking for a Mind Texas review. Now, 250 plus days later, I think it is only fair to give Mind Texas a review. But first, I'd like to quickly shout out the legends, that are my YouTube members. If you would like to support the channel, please consider looking at the benefits down below. Thanks for all of the support guys, let's get into the video. Unlike other anarchy servers, Mind Texas has a 4x4 chunk protected spawn area in each dimension. It is worth clarifying that PvP is enabled within this area, only the blocks are protected. Now, I know this sounds shit. Why would an anarchy server have spawn protection? Well, it is not quite as bad as it sounds. On Mind Texas, you can use the slash spawn command to teleport to the spawn of the dimension you are in. This spawn protected area contains nether portals and an end portal. This means players can set a spawn point at their base and then use the slash spawn command to teleport directly to spawn. They can then go to the end and jump through the end portal to teleport back to the spawn point at their base. This allows everyone to quickly and easily access spawn without hours of traveling. I actually really like this mechanic. I personally think this is a much better mechanic than a slash teleport command which allows players to teleport to each other. I still don't really like the spawn protection. It does not feel like anarchy to me though at the same time it is kind of needed for the slash spawn command to work. Mind Texas also offers custom badges and chat prefixes. This works slightly different to other servers. For example, I can register Kylab as a group badge and then assign it to other players in my group so that everyone can see our association. This is pretty cool and encourages the formation of groups. The money from these purchases then goes to the server hosting costs I assume, which is pretty cool. I tried to get in contact with the owner of Mind Texas to get some server statistics like world size and player joins, but unfortunately I received no response. What I can tell you is that Mind Texas is very old. It is known as the second oldest anarchy server, with some even calling it the oldest anarchy server after the 2B2T update drama. As for an exact starting date, I am not too sure. Here is a quick summary of what is written on the website. Following the release of Minecraft in 2011, someone from Texas decided to create their own Minecraft server. They first developed Mind Texas PvP. Over time additional servers were established, with Mind Texas PvP eventually yielding to new projects including the creation of Mind Texas Anarchy. This Anarchy server remained largely unoccupied for a while until the release of the Minecraft 1.7.10 update. This means that Mind Texas was started sometime between 20 2011 and June the 26th 2014 when Minecraft 1.7.10 was released. As for world size, VIP underscore win found a post shared by the server admin just over 4 months ago on the 1st of November 2023 where he stated that the world size was 33.6 terabytes in size. I was also sent a link to a discord message shared at the end of 2020 where the server stated that Texas had over 43,000 unique player joins which is very impressive. Mind Texas has a surprising amount of history. Some of it has been documented on the official Mind Texas website. There also used to be an official Mind Texas forum. Unfortunately, this forum was corrupted during a server upgrade. Thankfully, some of the history and posts have been exported by the admins, and there's actually a small Discord server where some of these posts have been saved as PDF files. Mind Texas has too much history to cover in a short video like this, but I will tell you some of the more interesting stories from the server's past. Sometime in 2015, a new coordinate exploit was discovered on 2b2t.org. This exploit involved messaging players and triangulating their coordinates. This is now known as the slash message coordinate exploit and this is actually how the well-known space Valkyria was found. Anyways, a few days after this exploit was discovered, 2b2t shut down to minimize damage. During this downtime, a 2b2t player known as ChadDX found Mind Texas and after joining the server, he worked on the central nether and overworld hubs. ChadDX is not the only 2b2t player to come across to Mind Texas. According to the history section listed on the official site, the well known Jared 2013 joined Mind Texas at some point, and apparently he was the first person to create lava casts on the server. With that said, Chad DX, a player who was active at the time, tells me that the first lava cast was actually created by a Mind Texas player going by the name of Don Remington, and not Jared 2013. 
According to Chad, Jared2013 was active later in the server's history, sometime in 2016 when TubeTT was flooded with rushes. Unfortunately, there is very little credible info out there, and inconsistencies like this in the listed history make working out what actually happened even more complicated. At the time, lava casting was not a well-known technique, the spawn protection was only set up to stop players from placing or breaking blocks, so when it was lava casted, blocks were created that could not be removed, effectively making spawn completely inaccessible and any players caught within the zone were killed until the server admin later intervened, removing the lava casts and fixing the spawn area. Another player who would later admit to being a 2BTT player was Kilgrave, also known as JSS05A. Kilgrave used to dominate spawn, killing any and all players who came through, unless they paid him to travel through unharmed. He used to charge 5 diamond blocks for safe passage through spawn, or 64 diamond blocks per account per month. At the time, this was a significant amount with the server's economy being much poorer than it is today. Mind Texas has also had its fair share of drama, with players arguing in the Discord, with this later to escalating to a player being doxxed, sad but typical anarchy behavior. There is so much more history to the server, but it is poorly documented and I cannot go through all of it in a video of this format. After logging into the server, I explored the greater spawn area before traveling around a thousand blocks in the nether, where I went through a portal and gathered some wood to create basic tools. I explored some more before meeting up with VIP underscore win at spawn, where he gave me some items. Chad DX randomly appeared here, at the time I did not know who this was. I then travelled with VIP to a well known spawn monument, the Valley of Portals. After taking in the view and appreciating how much work had been put into this monument, we travelled to a spawn end portal where we dismantled a poor attempt at a lag machine. I then got off the server for a few days. When I got back on, I decided to go hunting for anything interesting. I decided to pick a random highway and travel to around 50 or 60,000 blocks from spawn, where I took a random off-road from the highway. Following the border of new chunks, I eventually, after a lot of flying around, found this portal. The second I saw the donkey, I knew I was onto something. After going through the portal, I found a pretty cool little base and a dupe stash. I explored the base a bit and helped myself to a few goods, filling my ender chest with some of the nice items. I then saw some signs where I found the base was created by a player known as Dockney, and another player, Leah, had been there too. I searched for these names in the Mind Texas Discord server and found both of these people. I sent them both DMs, but sadly neither of them responded. Both of them seemed to be fairly inactive, with the latest message being posted by Leah at the end of 2023. I then travelled back to spawn where I noticed a few changes, someone had placed thousands of enchanting tables around spawn, and a few giant farms had also been created, not even a hundred blocks out of spawn. So in conclusion, Mind Texas is an interesting server with a rich but poorly documented history. The server's economy seems to be only slightly broken, stacked items exist and finding empty or semi-filled shulkers around spawn is not uncommon. The economy is far from broken, it is much more enjoyable to me than servers like 5b5t where you are fully geared before leaving spawn. Here you still need to put in some effort into acquiring your gear, which makes it more fun in my opinion. The server's anti-cheat is also pretty well balanced. Balanced. Cheats like entity speed do not work at all, though Elytra Fly works well. I was able to travel around 160 km an hour with the Elytra Fly on control mode with no fireworks. The player base seems to be active, they are always around 5 or 6 players online, peaking late at night for my time zone with upwards of 10 players being online. Mind Texas really reminds me of the old 2B2T days, spawn is fairly ungriefed, the community is fairly small and there are remains of historical events all over. I really have enjoyed my time on Mind Texas and it is one of the most appealing 2B2T alternatives that I have played on. To be honest, I still don't really like the idea of spawn protected blocks on an anarchy server, this does not feel right to me, though it is necessary for the slash spawn command to work and this mechanic does have an appeal to it. Being able to travel to spawn and interact with people without hours of traveling is awesome. Anyways, that is enough rambling for one day. Shout out to VIP Win for his dedication. This review was only made because of his dedication to the cause. I'm going to miss the daily posts and the meme that it has become. Anyways, with that said, thanks for watching. I have been your boy Kalab. Peace in the Middle East.